Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add dynamic data in body part using the QWeb template engine in Odoo version 15 or 16. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add email template in Odoo version 15 or the 16, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the Weblands, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development and hear different types of playlist available with different topics with the real test cases. And in case you need any support related to Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow that repository. We have also different social media pages. Make sure to follow those pages to get the latest notification. In case you want to support this channel using many ways, buy me coffee, paypal or using this join button. Let's back to our main topic like how we can add dynamic data in body part in the email template. All right. So last time you already know we created this latest module right WB email template here and we created this simple file simple record if you don't know how you want how you can create please check the last discussion and it's already available in the description now let's say in case we want to add uh, instead of this code right uh, let me show you in the front end side how it is look like so for that i'm going to settings in the technical in the email you can see email templates and here you can see this is our email template how it is look like but you can see here it's available we already mentioned here in a four line but it's available like this right so if i will try to preview this email template how it is look like you can see here it's it's available in the one line of code right so which is not good so we will try to add like this format as well as we will try to add dynamic data here all right so the good thing is we can directly use anywhere in the body part i mean here in this body part we don't need to add any extra c data uh, tag if you remember last time in version 14 we have to compulsory use something like this right c data like this in between we have to use the specific code otherwise it won't be work right so here uh, that limitation is over you can directly add anywhere in between this tag the starting tag to this ending tag you can add anywhere the format should be equal so here the best part is in version 14 and the lower version uh, Odoo is using Jinja to template engine especially for the email template right so now in version 15 and onwards right it's using a QWeb template engine uh, if you remember if you already know how to generate a PDF report using QWeb template right so everything is the same here also in the email template this is the good thing and we don't need to manage any format special format here you if you know the good uh, html and the css and the bootstrap you can just implement here and it will work accordingly all right so now what i will do is i will try to use the p tag sorry in the last last and last let me copy this p tag now i will try to upgrade this module all right minus u and i will paste here this module name if you don't know how to upgrade or configure odoo in pycharm editor please check link is given in the description oops we have error so let's see first what it is all 
all right so you can see we also fast in our first time right the format you can see element auto has extra content so for that you can see here name equal to body underscore html so here we have to use type equal to html that's it and here i will try to upgrade this module one more time if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained ah you can see it's successfully updated here so type should be the html always here all right if you forgot it means you have to mention the specific format only so it's good you can just use as a type as a html all right and now i will try to refresh the screen and you can see here it will automatically change the content right like this and if i will click to this preview you can see it will display something like this okay now i will try to add here the student name so for that like i will use p dash field all right and let's say object dot name so here you can add many ways right so if you already know how to use q web template right so using the t dash field in this span tag that is also possible so this is the first scenario the second scenario is like school name is let's say span t desk out all right and here i can also use school underscore id dot name like this and i will try to upgrade the module let me minimize uh, sorry let me go to in front end side and i will close this one and you can see it will automatically update like this and i will try to reprint so you can see dear the student name and school is csv school name all right if i will change this record to sita raman you can see the student name and the school automatically change here so this is the dynamic code you can see here and another thing is if you are trying to add uh, let's say you can also add some dynamic data in the front end side you can see here this one right this is the HTML pure HTML content but the thing is you can't directly edit like here first thing is you can see this icon right you compulsory have to click to this one and you can also upgrade like this and you have to paste your code here so now i will try to add one more thing dear student hello this is new line of code added from front end all right and i will try to save and you can also see it's available here right and if i will try to preview you can see it will display here the main disadvantage you can see here is if this email template created from the backend side right so we compulsory need to update this content in code level here not in the front end side so let's say if i will try to add here some more informations here right so what it does like while it's upgrade the module it will override this front end changes so it won't be displayed this one so let's do here and by the way this curly braces it should not work here in this body template so let's try object dot name right and simple i will try to upgrade this module and i will try to refresh this screen you can see it will
all right so while you upgrade the module right so it won't be also compatible while it's update the record so first thing is we have to remove such code here right and i will try to upgrade this module now you can see here it's successfully upgrade now i will try to refresh the screen and you can see that new changes we created from the front end side right it's gone so here let me add one more code which is not compatible in the back end side right so i will try to do like this object dot name and i will try to simple save why it's automatically save because it's treat as a html code not the dynamic one all right and if i will try to add click to this preview you can see it will display as it is what we write down here so it's not understand object is a record set and the name means the student name all right so we don't need to use or we don't need to add any uh, we don't need to repeat such mistakes while you convert your older version to the newer version this email template so that's it for the now i hope you understood how you can print dynamic data in email template using t desk field and t desk out all right if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session and our next session should be the conditional part all right how you can implement the conditional part here